Hello and welcome to the sixth episode of D3 Live. So today I'm going to be talking about the iPod Touch fourth generation. So of course every year Apple likes to update their iPhone and iPod Touch lineup. And so I expect that this will continue this year when we will see a brand new iPod Touch this September. Um, but what exactly it will contain, you know, specs, features, cameras, all that kind of stuff, is kind of a little bit up in the air right now. But guys, we have had a lot of rumors, a lot of speculation, even some leaked parts about this. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys all what we know and what my opinions are to kind of help you decide whether you might or might not want this iPod Touch. So the first thing, guys, are the cameras. And yes, guys, cameras as in plural. Um, there very well might be a front-facing as well as a rear-facing camera on the next iPod Touch. So of course, a front-facing camera was new to the iPhone 4 this year. And I don't think it would be a huge surprise to see this come back over on the iPod Touch. Um, so, of course, the front-facing camera really is used for video chat, or as Apple calls it, FaceTime. I think it would make a lot of sense to go ahead to continue, you know, spreading out the cameras, to continue more people allow them to, you know, to video chat. I think that would be a really cool thing for the iPod Touch. Now, that said, I'm not so sure that Apple will actually want to go ahead and put it on there. Uh, for whatever reason, they might want to go ahead and you know, hold it back, maybe for the next one, as Apple likes to do, hold back features. But still, guys, I do think it's a pretty decent possibility. Um, and we have seen a leaked part with uh, an iPod Touch screen with a front-facing camera, but that's, that doesn't really mean a whole lot. That stuff can be faked really easily. So, guys, I put this in the maybe category. Now, what I'm quite a bit more sure about is that there will be a rear-facing camera. So, guys, um, now, I take this with a grain of salt because, of course, last year with the iPod Touch third generation, it was looking, I mean, almost definitely like there was going to be a camera. I mean, we saw a prototype with cameras. We saw cases being made for the iPod Touch with a camera hole. And then there wasn't a camera. So, guys, I'm not so sure if we will actually see it this year just because we got burnt so bad last year. I mean, I was 100% convinced as well as quite a few other people. But, guys, it does make sense that they would go ahead and put a rear-facing camera on there. Um, if they do, it's kind of up in the air between what kind of camera it would be. Um, some people say that it would be the full 5 megapixel sensor from the iPhone 4 that of course shoots high definition video. But a lot of people are saying that it's probably going to be the same camera module from the iPhone 3GS, which is of course quite a bit lower quality and doesn't shoot high definition video. Personally, I think it probably would be the lower resolution camera. Apple, like I said, guys, always likes to you know hold back features, give you just enough to go, oh, well, that's worth upgrading. And then the next year, then they'll upgrade something better. So it's probably not going to have a really high resolution camera, but it should be pretty decent. So guys, moving along, we have the specs. So the iPod Touch and iPhone generally stay very close to the same specs every time the iPhone's updated, the iPod Touch is, and they expect that to continue this year. So I think we will see the Apple A4 processor from the iPhone and the iPad. Um, I think we will go ahead and see a new redesign, but I'll get to that in just a minute. Um, I think we'll go ahead and see the iPod Touch go ahead and get the Retina display. Now, I'm not 100% sure it will get the Retina display, but it does make sense that, of course, they keep all the apps that can run on you know, the third generation iPod Touch and the iPhone 3GS. Well, it will be the same for the iPhone 4 and the fourth generation iPod Touch. Um, battery life is another something that might be considered, uh, depending on how they design it and how big of a battery they want to put in it. Um, for example, if they put the iPhone 4 battery in it, that would be give fantastic battery life. The iPhone 4, with of course, you know, it has a cellular radio in it and everything, which takes up and GPS and everything, does take up quite a bit of juice, so, and it gets good battery life. So if they put that same battery in the iPod Touch, which doesn't have all that extra stuff, the iPod Touch would last for probably days on a single charge, which is fantastic. Of course, you know, they might want to go ahead and forego that for maybe a little bit more room inside there or get it a little bit thinner, but you never know. Um, so lastly, guys, there is the redesign. So, you know, the iPod Touch has stayed the same pretty much since it was very first was announced. Um, you know, the second generation brought some decent changes, um, and the third generation just brought a few technical changes. But I think that the iPhone 4, just like how it was just totally redesigned, I think the iPod Touch will be totally redesigned as well. Uh, now, as far as what it will look like, that's kind of hard to say. Um, I think some of the design cues from the iPhone 4 will be brought over. So, for example, it might have more of a squared off design as opposed to the really rounded, you know, kind of cool uh, metal design that the current iPod Touch has. Um, but then again, guys, believe me when I say, I do not think this will be, you know, like, look just like an iPhone 4. It will probably be quite a bit different. Probably thinner, um, but you know, if, I really doubt that they're going to want to go ahead and make it very similar. Um, it might have somewhat of a similar squared off design, but I definitely do not see Apple. They, they really want to keep a pretty clear line between the iPod Touch and the iPhone because obviously iPhone does not, I mean, they sell that for way more money. They make way more money on it 
I mean, the iPod Touch to Apple is pretty much just like training wheels, getting people ready to buy an iPhone. So I think that it will be redesigned some. Of course, there is a chance that we could say the exact same with just a couple of cameras, but I do think that we will see a decent redesign. So at any rate, guys, the next iPod Touch 4th generation does look like a really solid upgrade. Um, I highly recommend don't buy an iPod Touch today. Don't buy it next week. Wait until September. Usually they announce it around the first part to the middle part of September. If you can wait that long to pick yourself up an iPod Touch, you definitely will not be disappointed. They do seem to have quite a few things coming. Okay, guys, so for the second segment of D3 Live, I'll be taking live questions. Of course, every episode of D3 Live is filmed in front of Blog TV. We have over 30 people in the room right now, so I'm going to go ahead and take a few questions. Okay, Ali190 asks, will there be a 4.1 update for all the devices because of the death grip? Um, that's actually a good question. Yes, the Apple has said that there will be an update. It might be 4.1. It'll probably be 4.0.1, but they said that, yes, there will be an update that should fix the death grip issues. But the thing is, it really won't. Um, the death grip, or you know, if you don't know what it is, the iPhone 4, if you hold it with the corner in your hand and you grip tightly, it will lose signal, or at least the signal will go down quite a bit. Um, there will be an update, and it will basically help your uh, help your sig signal kind of you know variate a little bit more. So you will be able to actually see you know instead of having three bars, it might show you have two or whatever. It should be more accurate. But still, if you do hold your hand, your iPhone in your hand that way, it, this update won't help you at all. It's it is a hardware issue, and basically, if you have an iPhone four, you're gonna have to deal with that. So you're just gonna have to buy a case or something because no matter what they do, software or not, you really will not be able to fix that. Okay, the 3DS or the iPod Touch 4th generation? That's actually a great question. Um, so, the Nintendo 3DS, of course, was announced earlier, and it should be out sometime at the end of this year, the beginning of next year. It's kind of unclear right now, but, um, you know, it's a great question. The, I, the iPod Touch has always been really focused on doing a lot of stuff, and it does a lot of stuff really well. I mean, internet browsing is fantastic. You can do your email. Um, you can do normal apps, you know, not kind of games, but, you know, like calculators and that kind of stuff. And you also do have games. Um, it does all those things pretty well. But the, I, but, but the, I'm sorry, the Nintendo 3DS does pretty much one thing and one thing only, and it's games. And it is going to do games fantastically. Um, now, of course, it kind of comes down to generally, you know, a, a good, uh, really high-tier game, like one of the best ones, out on the iPod Touch is usually around you know $10 and a lot of times quite a bit less. Whereas you know a Nintendo DS, I'm sure 3DS will be the same, is probably like $30 to $40. So you know it's kind of hard to say. Generally the 3DS and the DS games are quite a bit higher quality. You know you can tell they you know there's a huge team working on it. And so you know it might not, a lot of times it is worth you know three or four times as much. But on the other hand, you know, you have to actually go buy them, whereas the App Store is really simple. And of course, there's a lot of really great 99 cent applications. So it's really, I don't know, I really just can't say, you know, one's better than the other. It depends on what you want. Um, personally, you know, I want them both. I think they're both going to be great you know, for different things. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of a hard question. I really can't answer it. Um, will the iPod Touch 4th generation have a new design? Yes, I did talk about this just a little bit earlier. I think that the iPod Touch next one will have a new design. Um, I'm not sure if they might just add camera, a camera or two cameras onto it. You know, we don't know, but I do think it's about time that they refresh it, you know, make it look a little bit more like the iPhone 4, or just do something a little bit new. Um, will the iPod Touch 4th generation be a battery hog? Probably not. I mean, Apple and their products, pretty much every single update, it's got better battery life by 20%, by 50%, blah, 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 blah. At any rate, guys, yeah, I do think it will be a better battery life. Um, of course, you know, the iPod Touch is not too bad with battery. Um, I have a second generation, and the battery is getting pretty bad on it right now. But, of course, it's coming up on two years old. So, yeah, guys, I think the battery will be better on the next iPod Touch. Um, when will the iPod Touch 4G come out? It should be out September. Uh, every year, Apple has an iPod event where they will announce new iPods. Um, so for example, last year was like the iPod Nano, and the iPod Touch, etc., etc. And yeah, guys, they do this pretty much every year September. So um, maybe not sure when in September. Sometimes it's early. Usually it's early or the middle of September. All, of course, all uh, all iPods need to be out by the holiday season. So yeah, I would expect September should be when it was coming out. Um, what will it be more of a gaming device or a musical device? Um, I think it will be a gaming device. To, I mean, maybe if it had a microphone, which it should, if it has video capability, um, then it might be a decent, you know, thing where you could like sing into it, and, you know, like some of the the uh, auto tune stuff. 
But really, guys, that's more of novelty, the, the musical part of it. Um, really, it is more for gaming. You can do a lot better gaming than, you know, just maybe a couple of, you know, cheap apps that might, you know, mess with your voice or, you know, play piano or something. Is it worth up to upgrading from an iPod Touch 3rd generation to an iPod Touch 4th generation? It's hard to say. We have it off. Of course, the iPod Touch 4th generation isn't coming out yet, and so we haven't actually seen exactly what it will have. Um, if all the specs and everything that I expect that are coming are true, then yeah, I would think it would be worth the upgrade. Um, you know, if it's not, maybe if it only has like a single camera, or maybe it doesn't have the full specs and it's not redesigned. I mean, if it wasn't really a big upgrade, then yeah, it probably wouldn't be worth it. But on the other hand, you know, if it is as big as it seems like it will be, it has, you know, a front-facing camera, a rear-facing camera, um, a lot more upgraded specs, all that kind of stuff, then I do think it will probably be a pretty good upgrade. And that's it for this episode of D3 Live. I'd like to thank you for watching. If you'd like, feel free to subscribe. I do D3 Live every Saturday, and I do it live on Blog TV. So if you'd like to watch, feel free. I'll post a video right before I go live. You can come. You can ask questions. Um, you can hang out and just watch the show live. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching.